Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we're gonna be talking a little bit about pre-processing some data within Excel. And I'm just gonna introduce two very small utilities that I've built in Python, but extremely useful when you're looking at uh, taking some, some data like this and splitting it up into smaller chunks. So I'm gonna use one example in this. So what, what we're looking at today is this is a data set from Kaggle on um, certain sales for certain departments. Uh, subcategories so you have the row ID order ID uh, the shipping method the customer name this is all fictitious data obviously city store now I mean the example that I'm gonna go through is actually a real-life example that used to happen to me in one of my previous companies that I used to work for and in that we used to get a big data set like this because it was just pulled from some back-end mainframe and it was processed and it was just kicked out like this and sometimes it had errors sometimes it had empty columns uh, but other times it didn't. And oftentimes in that specific area, the organization that I work for specifically had their own analytics teams that were looking for data specifically for their own department. Uh, and then they would do their processing of data and their analytics, a different view for every different leader in that area. That's just how they wanted it. But once you got this massive file, I used to have an analyst that back in the day just used to go in and literally sort and filter. So they would sort by something like segment. So segment's the one we're gonna focus on today. But what they would do in Excel, they would go into the data field, they would sort, um, sorry, they would filter, and then they would filter on the specific area they need. So these are all the consumer sales. And then they would copy and paste all of this, put this in a new Excel spreadsheet, and then ship it off to that team. Uh, they would then go and do the exact same thing for the next one. So because the corporate people don't care about the home office sales or the consumer sales, and I'm making this up in this example, but if you think about a department store, you know, somebody who's doing, who has sales in sporting goods is not necessarily that concerned with sales in bakery, for example. And so to save them time, you know, they had their own analyst teams that were literally combing through all of this data, picking the ones that they needed, and then shipping it off to their analytical groups. And so we built a similar Python script uh, in the back end, which was completely automated. So every single time this file would run, there would be a job in the background that would run at like 3 a.m. Uh, it would parse all the data and it would automatically email it to the right people. And I mean, that was just the time savings if you think about it. Even if you spend five minutes massaging this every single day times, you know, 15 departments, that kind of time adds up over time. So what I'm going to walk you through today is I just built a small little utility within Python. We're going to focus on segment in this case, but really you can focus on any of these different headings up here. So I'm going to have one of two scenarios. In option number one, I'm going to tell the script that I want to build three separate Excel files. And so the Excel file is going to split all the different sales and all these different uh, data fields up based on these different segments. So it's going to create a separate Excel file for consumer and a separate, separate Excel file for corporate and a separate one for home office. And then it's going to put it into a folder for me. So that's scenario number one. Scenario number two is I'm going to create a brand new Excel file. This is going to get replaced, except I'm going to have three tabs on the bottom. One's going to be for home office, one for corporate and one for consumers. So let me show you how this script works. First, I'm going to go and demo it, and then we'll walk into the script a little bit. Now, when I, I will tell you up front, the code is not very Pythonic at all. Uh, I haven't done any optimization to it whatsoever. I tried to keep it as basic as possible so people that are learning for the first time can look at the code and try to play around with it and fiddle with it. But try using this in your own spreadsheets at work. I mean, there's uh, probably use cases for you guys in this. Um, and then the next use case we're going to walk after that is well, what's, once we have three different files, how do we combine it into one? So we're going to do both of those today, but there's two different scripts for that. So I'm going to go ahead and close those. What you see in this folder over here is you see the same file that we we're looking at, the Superstore example. I have two different scripts that I built. One is called filesplit.py and the other one is combinedfiles.py. So why don't we run this one first? Okay, so when I go ahead into my terminal, I just want to see what's in there. So if you see it's got Basically, we got to move, we have to move, uh, change directories here. So I'll change my directory into, and I've called this scripts. And so now you see I've got combined files, files, files. So basically these files are over here. Okay, so let's clear this out. Now to run this, it's very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to take your Excel file. You're going to put it into the same folder as these two uh, scripts, as well as the file. It doesn't matter what folder you put it in. I've put it in so that... Uh, it'll just look for the d directory path name itself and it'll parse it out automatically. But let's go ahead and say 
Python file split dot pi. And so what it's going to do here, first it's going to ask you what the file path is. So to do that, you can just drag and drop your file path over there. Make sure you backspace out here. And now once it does that, what it's doing is it's taking all of this data and it's putting it inside the Python script. And it's building an entire data frame out of that. And as it builds a data frame, then it's going to ask you a series of other questions. So what's the column that we want to look for? And if we go back to my Excel file here, the column of interest here is segment. So I'm going to go ahead here and type segment. And remember segment had three different headings. It had corporate, it had consumer, and it had home office. So automatically what it's going to do is it's going to say your data will be split into these values. So it's actually read home office, consumer, and corporate, and create three files or three sheets based on your next selection. And so if you are ready to proceed, hit yes. If not, hit no. And there's a lot of error checking built into this. So if you hit no, it'll automatically terminate. And there's, you know, if you hit something else other than no, like for example, if I hit L, it'll just go back to this and ask you this again. So when I hit yes, the next question is going to say, do you want to split this in different sheets or do you want to split this in a file? So why don't we go ahead and do the sheets first? So I'm going to hit S. And so now what it's going to do is you just have to wait because it's going through, I think there's about 55 or 60,000 different lines in this. And it's reading every single one of those lines, line by line to seeing if it's a consumer, if it's home office or it's corporate. And then what it's going to do is it's going to create a new spreadsheet for me because I don't want to overwrite my old one. It's going to create a new spreadsheet for me, which should be, which is popping up right there. But before I open that, this is actually going to tell me it's completed. And so when it says it's completed, that's when it's safe to go ahead and open that. So we're just going to wait for that message to pop up. All right, so now you said it says completed. Thanks for running this program. Now the time of how fast this runs can depend on the type of computer you're on. So I ran this on my MacBook. It ran in about 55 seconds or so. Then I booted up an older computer that was PC based. Um, took about four minutes to run on there. So it really depends. So let's go ahead and open this file up. And as I open this file up, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see three tabs, home office, consumer, and corporate. And in this section of segment, you should see nothing but home office, which is what we see here. And you can see, you should see nothing but consumer in this one and corporate in this one. So that's the first option that we did is how do you split this in three different sheets? And um, that's the way to do it. We'll walk through the script in a second. So the next one that I want to do is I want to say, okay, I want to run this again. So let's rerun this. First, let's clear this. Let's rerun this again. We're going to pass the original file back in here again. So now what I want to do is I want to split this based on files. And what that means is I want to have three separate files that generate. Okay, so I want to proceed. And this time I'm going to do it based on F. And so we're going to give this a moment as well. What you'll see here slowly is you'll see three files pop up. And the three files, one's going to be called Home Office. One's going to be called, oh, there's home office and they're coming in. They're just cut on the screen here, but there they are. And there should be the last one, which is uh, corporate, I believe, which should be populating sometime soon as well. There it is. So corporate just popped in. And so when I open these files up, I go to home office. I just have home office files in here and that's it. And when I go to consumer, I have just consumer files in here. And so when you think about the applicability of this, I mean, now I can set up a very simple script to just say, email these out to the applicable owners and you don't have to touch it. It's literally zero touch. And so that's a good form of automation. And while there is a bit of upfront work in creating these scripts, if you have to think about this, if you're going to do this from a repetitive standpoint over and over again, there's a ton of savings behind this. And I mean a lot. Okay. So now that we have these three files, now I want to do the reverse. Let's put these three files that we generated, corporate into files, consumer and office. Okay. So we're going to put that here. And now what we're going to say is I want to say, I want to combine these into one file back again to create this original file again. All right. So let's go ahead and fire up the script for that. So for that, we're going to type in combine files.py. So now we're going to type Python combine files.py 
it's going to ask me for the file path so there's one of two options so this is the tricky part with the file path though is it's a small little sneaky trick what happens is when i paste this here if i leave this without a forward slash it's going to put the file in this folder if i want it to go into this folder i just need to add a forward slash so i'll just do that because there's less clutter in this folder so now that I've done that, what it's going to do is it's going to go into this folder and it's going to read every single file that has the extension XLSX. Actually, it'll read XLS or XLSX. And then what it's going to do is it's going to import all of that information into one massive data frame. It's going to combine it to make sure that the columns match up. And then it's going to spit out one big massive file, which we should see populating soon here. And it'll be called combine.xlsx. There it is. And now it's completed. So I can go ahead and run this. So when I click on this, what you'll see is if I just do a little filter on this area here, what you'll see is I have all three of my components here again. And so that's really how you build these, or that's really how you use these little small scripts. So let's walk through the code very quickly. Okay, so here's the file for the file split.py. So this is splitting it into either sheets or splitting it into files. What you're going to need is you're going to need pandas, OS, OpenPyXL, XLS Writer, and you're going to need something called um, shutil. And I'll explain why we're going to use this. So the first step that it's going to ask us here is it's going to say input your file path. So you know that's for me to put in. It'll automatically parse out the file's extension. It'll parse out the file's name, and it'll parse out the file's directory for you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this file path here. Once I do that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of functions. And in the first function, what it's going to do is in the event that we say that we want to create a new file. All right, next we're going to ask to pick the column in this case, which is segment. All right, so after I do this, this is now going to create a list uh, stored in columns. And the list is going to contain all the unique values in this column segment. In this case, it's going to be consumer, corporate, and home office. And so now I have two options here. One is I'm going to send this to a file or I'm going to send this to sheets. Send to file basically means create three separate files for me. And in this case, it's going to go ahead and iterate through that list. So anytime that it's that this is equal to home office, it's going to filter for all those in, all those columns that are just to have home office. And it's going to write it to a brand new file. And the file name is going to be the same as whatever that, that uh, specific element we're on within the columns index. And it's going to have the same sheet name. So, for example, if I have this, is, if I is equal to home office, it's going to filter for home office columns only, home office rows only. Sorry, it's going to write to that path that we originally defined. It's going to call the file home office, and it's going to give it the sheet name home office. And then we're done. And it'll do that until all of the different elements in that list have been exhausted. So, if I had ten items, you would get ten files, literally. On the other hand, send to sheets. This creates a new file. So what I suggest here is you copy your file to a new file. Otherwise, it'll overwrite your existing file. Um, and then you basically iterate through that as well. You're filtering for that specific element in that list. And then after that, you are basically writing it out to a new sheet name. So you're, so you're saying my sheet name is equal to whatever element I'm on in that list. And you write that, save it, and you're good. And so this is the main area because these are just functions that it's going to call later on. And in this, it'll tell you your data is going to be split into X number of columns or sheets. And that's basically just a, uh, a check on your the length of your columns, and it's going to specify your column. So this is where it said it's going to break it out into home office, corporate, and consumer. So it's actually reading the different columns, and it's going to say how long it is as well, or how many different elements there are. And when we're building our little loop here, and again, in this scenario, we're taking an input. Uh, if it's yes, then we're gonna then we're gonna ask them, do you want to split it by sheet or by file? Uh, if it's no, then it's just gonna exit the program. And so when I go ahead and run this, and so this is gonna lead me to that yes no again. So if I hit yes, it'll take me to this. I'm not gonna do this again because it takes a couple of minutes of process. But this is essentially the code for if you want to split your file. Now let's look at if you want to combine your file. And this one's very straightforward. So you're gonna import something called glob. Uh, OS and pandas and in this scenario we're gonna say what's the file path so we give the directory file path even if you give it a file name direct file path I've parsed it so that it's gonna go ahead and pull the path for you anyways out of there so then it's gonna go through that path you specified and it's gonna look for anything that has an XLS or XLS and this star means that anything coming after the S and typically you either have either XLS or XLS X 
so it'll read both of those files. And then as I do that, it'll say, okay, well, in this specific directory here, you have three, three files. So we had corporate, home office, and consumer. Uh, then we're going to create a new data frame. We're going to iterate through each one of these different elements. Remember, these are lists now. And as we, uh, as we iterate through this, we're going to read these into a pandas data frame. And then finally, when I want to do my check to make sure that it has all the segments, it does. And then I did a DF shape against it. It was 51,290 rows. And if I go back to here, which is my other one, my first file, and I wanted to do... Where did I import my data frame? Right here. So if I wanted to go ahead and just say df.shape here, I'm just hit enter. So we're gonna enter that file path again. And now it'll tell me, but once it reads all this through, it should match what we had here, which is 51, 290, and 22. Should give me the same once this thing decides that it wants to run, because it is a massive file. Okay, so let's just follow this through. So 51, 290, and then 22. So you know that it actually read everything back properly. So these are two very quick utilities. I will put this code on GitHub for you guys to go around and play with it, tinker with it, use it, have fun with it. Um, especially when you're doing machine learning projects and you've got to filter out specific things and you want to just do it an easy way, this is a great way to do it. But um, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>